Right, so hello and welcome back to Books and Things and welcome to another video and today I'm very pleased to announce my upcoming read-along of The Lost Future of Pepper Harrow by Natasha Pulley. So, this June I will be hosting a read-along of The Lost Future of Pepper Harrow by Natasha Pulley. The read-along will take place between the 11th of June and the 26th of June, which means we'll read three chapters a day, um, read it over the course of just over two weeks, which I think hopefully should be manageable for everyone. And I'm so, so excited to reread this book because it is one of my favourites. Natasha Pulley is one of my favourite authors. This is going to be a very quick video. I just wanted to let you know that this read-along is going to be happening for anyone who wants to take part. The Lost Future of Pepper Harrow, if you don't know, is the sequel to The Watch Maker of Filigree Street. The Watchmaker of Filigree Street is one of my favourite books of all time and I ran a read-along of it earlier this year and quite a lot of people um, were interested to read the sequel to The Watchmaker of Filigree Street which is The Lost Future Pepper Harrow so I thought I would host a read-along of that in June. Do not take part in this read-along and read this book unless you have read The Watchmaker of Filigree Street. This will spoil all of The Watchmaker of Filigree Street. It is a very very direct sequel. If you have read The Watchmaker of Filigree Street, please do join in in June. If you haven't, but you would like to join in with the June read-along of The Lost Future of Pepper Harrow, maybe read The Watchmaker of Filigree Street in the next month. There is currently going on on my channel a historical fiction readathon, and The Watchmaker of Filigree Street is historical fiction. If you would like to read it for the historical fiction readathon and then read The Lost Future of Pepper Harrow next month, please do. I don't want to say too much about this book here because um, it is a very direct sequel to The Watchmaker of Filigree Street, and some of you watching here may not have read The Watchmaker of Filigree Street yet, though you should, it is wonderful. Um, but The Lost Future of Pepper Harrow um, follows on from where The Watchmaker of Filigree Street left off a few years later, following a lot of the characters we had come to know and love in The Watchmaker of Filigree Street. It's set in the 19th century, partly in England, partly in Japan, um, and it's just a truly, truly wonderful read. It is a very worthy sequel to The Watchmaker of Filigree Street, and I love it. And I'm so, so excited to reread it, because I've only read it once, um, and I just thoroughly loved it. I'm also looking forward to listening to this on audiobook. Um, I listened to The Watchmaker of Felder Street on audiobook earlier this year and loved it, so I'm really excited to um, listen to this one on audiobook too. I think it'll be a really fun way to experience the story and these characters that I know so well and love so much. And I'm hugely, hugely excited to read this because I loved it so much when I read it a few years ago, and I think it'll be a great one to reread. I love the works of Natasha Pulley hugely. She's one of my absolute favourite authors, and I am planning on doing read-alongs on all her books on my channel. Um, so next year, I think maybe we'll do The Bedlam Stack which does have like a cameo of someone from the Watchmaker of Filigree Street series um, but it's not as directly linked as The Lost Future of Pepper Harrow is um, and then maybe the year after that we'll do a read-along of The Kingdoms um, and maybe the year after that we'll do a read-along of um, The Half-Life of Valerie Kay which is Natasha Pulley's new book which is coming out imminently and I'm very very excited to read it imminently. Um, I have a proof copy on my shelf but anyway back to The Lost Future of Pepper Harrow this is a wonderful book I'm hugely excited to reread it in June not going to tell you too much about it except that it's wonderful because this is second in a series but please do join in if you've read The Watchmaker of Filigree Street. Please do read The Watchmaker of Filigree Street now if you want to join in in June and you haven't already. I will leave the schedule down below. I'll also leave the Goodreads group link down below. We'll use the same one as for The Watchmaker of Filigree Street if you're already a member. And hopefully this will just be a fun nice read along in June. I am planning on vlogging my reading experience of The Lost Future of Pepper Harrow as I did with The Watchmaker of Filigree Street earlier in the year and I'm just hugely excited to reread this glorious wonderful book. And that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching and I'll be back very soon with another bookish video.